Good morning. Welcome to Ringneck Leather. Uh, my name is Don, and today I'm going to be making a, a holster for a customer for a 357 with a with a six inch barrel, and we're going to be making this belt, and I'll be stamping the edges on it. And when I get that done, I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've cut out the billet and the belt keeper and I'm going to line this billet because I like to line my billets and I'm going to get it lined. I got it lined and I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to stitch it and when I do that I'll just do this, go ahead and cut this out. And by the way, this liner's about a three mil, about a three ounce that I line the billet with. Okay, so now that I've got this cut out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run this down there and make sure that it's good and bonded. And then we'll just move over here to the sewing machine. And I'll stitch this from this point all the way around and back to this point. This is the point here that I will sew on the belt. So I'm going to finish sewing this on, and when I get this sewed on, then I'll get back to you. Okay, so now I'm, I've marked my stitch lines, and I've laid out my grooves in this belt for the stampings. I'm going to be stamping an edge line on here, and the edge line that I'm going to be stamping is I got off of a YouTube video and I'll get this laid out and get it stamped because I know you don't want to watch me stamp this whole belt and when I get this stamped the customer wants 20 bullet loops on here so I'll start stamping it and show you how I do this and then after I do a few of it a little bit of it then I'll get back to you again But first, I'm going to lay this out, then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the edge on this belt. The tools I'm going to be using is this U710 
mule's foot, and this V417 Vayner. And this is a this is an edge that I saw another guy stamping, and I thought it was a real good edge, so I thought I would use it. Bouncing on me there. Now I'll just go back and start the other side so that you can see what it looks like when it's finished. So now if I can get a close up of that, and you'll have an idea of what it's going to be like when it's all finished. And when I get this all stamped and get it laid out, Okay, so this is the belt that I had laid out. I've already dyed it. The customer wants 20 bullet loops on. I've laid out the bullet loops for it, and I'm going to start stitching those on, and when I get them stitched on, then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've dyed, I finished and dyed this belt, and I've got my billet end sewed on, it's all lined. I've got my 20 belt loops sewed on, it's all done. I got my belt keeper sewed on, and the belt buckle. And now then I'm going to start on the gun holster. But I'm just going to cut the gun holster out and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so now I've cut this pattern out of the 357 
and I made this pattern out of poster board and I've cut this poster out of 9 to 10 ounce leather and I'm going to get it all edged up and I'll get it burnished and I'll get it put together and then I'll get back to you. So now my customer had two of these 357 that he wanted uh, holsters made for. This one has a 6 inch barrel and this one I think has a 5 inch barrel. So he wanted the belt to be interchangeable so he could use whichever one he wanted. He wanted the long barrel one for a right hand and he wanted the short barrel one for a left hand for whatever purpose but anyway this is the finished this is the finished product and this is way each one of these handguns revolvers they have the the rawhide hammer thong and that's the way that they that's the way that they came out so if you're looking for a good quality holster and you're willing to wait four to six weeks for it, my phone number is on, on, the, on my website. So if you want, just give me a call because I have to talk to you to get all the specifics from you. Thank you.